I've got two syringes here um, and both contain air, but this one is unblocked. So there's nothing stopping the air getting in at this end. And when I pull the syringe out like that, it's very easy to pull the syringe out and push it back in again. This one, however, the end of the syringe is blocked. And when I try to pull it out, it's actually very difficult to pull out. There's a lot of um, resistance to the, me pulling the syringe out. So if we consider the difference between the two, in this one here, we have air pressure um, inside and outside the syringe. So the air particles are colliding with the walls of the container. They're colliding with the face of the syringe. They're also colliding with this end of the syringe. So overall, the forces are balanced and there's no resultant force on the syringe and it just stays where it is. And if I pull it out, more air just comes in the tube. So the pressure, the number of particles bouncing on this end are the same as this one. And the air pressure stays the same. With this one, as I pull it out, the air particles, no more air particles can get in. So the air particles become um, more spread out as I pull this back. And so therefore, um, the pressure goes down because there are less particles in that or the same number of particles, but in a bigger volume. So therefore, the number of particles um, has stayed the same and the collisions have stayed the same, but they've got more room to spread, uh, to bounce around in. So you'll get less um, collisions on the end of the syringe. So I've got lots of collisions still happening at this end of the syringe, but I've got fewer collisions happening at this end. And so therefore, the air pressure from outside here is pushing the syringe back in. Now, you might think that that would be a tiny little force, but if you just try and pull on that syringe, you realise just how big a force the air pressure is pushing on there. And in fact, the air pressure on yourself, on your body, is equivalent to the weight of a, producing the weight of a small family car. So you, you've got a huge amount of air pressure acting on you and you can see that through this syringe. So this one, the air pressure is always the same on both ends of the syringe, so therefore it's easy to move backwards and forwards. This one, the air pressure as I pull it backwards is less on this end than on this end, so it becomes really difficult to pull the syringe out.